Simple overgrown. So, and also cut off all the bad leaves of the onions. Oh, yeah. 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 And uh, Ravi, this moss is not going to grow here. Okay. This willow moss. The willow moss will not grow outside water. So it has to be changed to Christmas moss. Okay. Or uh, peacock moss. So you got to take out this entire moss and change it. So show them how you're going to do that for all these three. Do the trimming. Show them how trimming is done. So collect all the plants. And then we can do some uh, plant some plants back. Okay. okay. So today what we are doing again is uh, tank maintenance and uh, that was the first task given to us actually from the ID. Uh, so we are getting to lot, know a lot more about the maintenance of an aquascape. It's not just like uh, you can just plant it and leave it. You have to take care of your fishes as well and also the water and the aquascape in total. So now what I am doing is I am brushing off the algae so that uh, the aquarium actually looks beautiful and there's a good all in all condition uh, this is a pro brush ada pro brush which is actually helpful in removing uh, black brush algae because they actually stick on very hard to the rock and it's not uh, easy to uh, take them off it is best to uh, scrub them uh, while you are changing the water because uh, if you don't suck them out uh, at the time they are uh, removed from the rock they will again uh, just go down sink to the bottom and again grow there. So, yeah, now uh, we have just uh, trimmed the uh, bushy plants in this uh, tank. Now uh, we are uh, trimming, uh, trimming the algae uh, infested uh, leaves of Anubias. You can see the algae infested Anubias leaves. So we are just trimming. Uh, as we trim the Anubias leaves, uh, there will be a lot of bushy growth actually. Yeah. He's just uplifted, yeah. uplifted your uh, hydroflare and probably we'll be trimming it, cleaning it and sorting out into mid-ground and background a longer and a shorter stem and we'll be replanting those things again. And plus we are trying to trim off the anubias which are a little bit hairy moss has been grown on that. And probably we'll be cleaning the sand again and we'll be refilling the water. So let's see how we come in short period of time at this point. Thanks. So we have uh, removed all dead plants from here. Then we take uh, a floating plant from uh, on top of the circle of the water. Then we have removed the dead plant. Now we are going to remove the uh, uh, the black sand over here. The black soil from there we are going to siphon. Water is clear, pH is perfect, so we are not going to change more water. So this is a low maintenance again. We are going to change the 20% of water, that's it. Uh, with the help of Rajni, he was just showing me a few techniques how to use this pipe. Take out the soil that is out of place and he showed me how to bend it and control it. He showed me two different ways to start the siphon, bring the water through, how to fill it with the water. And yeah, he was also showing me a little bit of clipping earlier. But yes, while we were doing that, one shrimp got in, he showed me how he managed to take the shrimp out from the pipe itself. So yes, learning quite a bit how to use this pipe without the pump and everything. It's just a manual. I used to think only sucking it, but he showed me two ways without doing the sucking. So yeah, I definitely learned something today. As I mentioned earlier that we are actually trying to short out this. Probably we'll shorting out the stem in in the three scales. That is of uh, medium, large and excel. And probably we'll be replanting this plant again in this larger time. Hi, good morning. This is the fifth day. And we just came to the gallery. And we just trimmed out uh, lots of fibrophila plants from the uh, five feet tank. 
and we are just sorting out these plants so that we can replant this again. Hi, I am doing the glass cleaning with the ADA Pro Razor. So, थोड़ा algae रहता है जो glass पे वो निकालने के लिए Pro Razor से और aquarium को सुंदर दिखने के लिए. We have removed whatever debris was in, there in the sand and we have sep siphoned it out, taking care that we don't remove excess sand. How do you create something unconventional? Okay, mountain is very easy. Put on the stone is already ready mountain, right? But how can you create something to put it down? So that's the challenge. have to learn so that they can create beautiful aquascapes. So Mr. Amano also worked with hardscapes many a times to be actually able to create the real beauty, beautiful aquascapes that you see around the world. So this is one such exercise where they work in a limited time and create something amazing. And their challenge here is to work out of the box. Okay, because they're working in Umzan so they have to create something very different using a stone like a stone which looks like a mountain. It looks like hill. at Kerala at Vinard. So these are basically the mountains, the Unjan stone. And I saw a lot of driftwoods there hanging in haphazard way in the, in the river. So I tried to recreate that. And along with that, uh, the way the river is flowing along with the flow of water. So same, same thing I tried to copy here. And along with that, I've done a lot of detailing like the way leaves uh, are falling from the trees in the river. And there's lying on the sand bed along with stones. So I'm trying to copy what I saw in the nature and try to bring it inside the glass cube. Okay, so I have tried to create a mountain and valley. Okay, and I have used specifically three stones. Uh, I studied this in the workshop attended in Mumbai. So you have to use two, three, five, seven, an odd number, not in the even. So I've used three numbers and I've tried to create a big mountain and the valley inside and the rock joining between the falling between the two mountains that's it so you see the valley have created two and i put this stone on the higher level to create the mountain effect so i am finally done with my task if you would like me to explain about this so i think i'll have to say a few words about our trip to Vaynar. the way we went to the tributaries rivers and everything and I explored and we were uh, asked to observe what is there. So according to our observations, I tried to create something here. Like uh, if you can see the uh, drift uh, rocks, they are uh, going in the descending order from the height. Also there are woods also coming down in the same way. But uh, as much as that is concerned, 
uh, it should not block the view like uh, it should not uh, feel like this is a small scape so in order to highlight the depth of the scape i've left uh, two ridges uh, behind these two stones like which can represent like uh, three mountains and in between the two passages so once you look from the uh, bottom angle of the scape what you will uh, be able to see is it's not just the uh, rocks or anything you'll be able to see two paths leading to the behind which will actually increase the depth of the aquascape uh, which uh, you know uh, it's a good highlight for an aquascape in the arts cap competition kya to hum jab vinard mein gaye the tab sa jab humne jungle walk kiya tha humne streams dekhe the waterfall dekha tha to tabhi udhar jo observe kiya hai jo kiya hai observe so main usko aquascape mein badalna chahta tha to main thoda bahut kiya hai uska लैंडस्केप को एक्वास्केपिंग स्टाइल में बदल दिया है थोड़ा आई ऑलवेज लाइक टू नेम माई स्केप्स सो दिस वन आई कॉल द क्रैकिंग इफ यू वॉच द क्लैश ऑफ द टाइटल्स यू विल सी दैट मॉन्स्टर कम्स विद होल नॉट ऑफ टेंटिकल्स इन द एंड दैट्स वॉट आई ट्राई टू मिलिक ऑफ दियर विद ड्रिफ्ट वुड एंड एट द सेम टाइम द डरेक्शन इन विच ऑल ऑफ द ड्रिफ्ट वुड इज मूविंग इज लाइक इट इज विद द करेंट ऑफ द वॉटर लाइक द वॉटर इज मेड इट गो दैट वे but before that it's just fallen in naturally it's just fallen off the trees fallen in over there like this in a cluster and the current of the water has made it flow look like it's flowing in one direction this is the sanjo zone that we have used and the driftwood basically and the whole idea was that we have went to this uh, exhibition yesterday for vinar jungle and we could see uh, that there were forest and a lot of dry woods and the roots of the the trees were flowing from the ground and some of them were coming out actually so i wanted to create some of those thing in my tank actually so i tried to mimic those thing what i saw in my art to be a little bit uh, copied from the nature i can see so i got uh, this is uh, aqua hardscape is done and i have uh, got uh, some three different viewing angles we can view from front and these two sides so that each and every angle looks uh, differently I have uh, balanced this uh, rocks uh, in such a way that uh, we can also grow moss over this, and it gives some uh, different kind of look, uh, like some uh, steep hilly regions and uh, some kind of river bank feeling. And I have used the driftwood uh, so that it will give some uh, roots, and uh, the trees have overgrown uh, over the rocks and. Hi. Yesterday uh, we had built Vinod, and uh, today we came back. And then while was we were in Vinod, always uh, Gagan was talking about like it was all flooded. That this region was flooded. That region was flooded, and that was in my mind. And then um, yesterday uh, morning, uh, Mr. Adi also said that you have seen the mountains. Think something weird and uh, do something weird. So what I thought was, when there is a flood, um, a beautiful mountain. Uh, a, a beautiful landscape will become all haphazard so that way when we imagine that there is a flood um, the trees have fallen and the roots are little bit uprooted and these are two we can say big uh, rocks or hills and then um, and when after finishing i am surprised to see that there is a pathway also created that's a, a bonus for me i think so this is my Hi all, greetings from Aqua Design Amano India. Uh, today we had a, a good session with some young ambassadors, aspirants. It's been interesting. Uh, the whole essence of ADA is what uh, I today have tried to speak to them about: the philosophy, uh, the guidelines, and the most important part: learn from nature and create nature. and this is the philosophy that goes into everything that ADA does including the products that ADA makes today we are market leaders and it's important for the ambassadors to understand why and i was really uh, taken aback uh, amazed at the in depth understanding they actually had of ADA as a brand uh, including the philosophy of no compromise good to see them i wish them all the very best in life and uh, i already see some very successful people at least in spirit